What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. Your transition to the dark side won't be easy. You should feel free to come to me with any concern. I'm already more comfortable with you, with the dark side, than anywhere else I've been. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, may I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather... soft. It takes no special powers to see that. Oh. Then you are already aware of her leanings? I'm sure you have it under control, then. I meant no disrespect. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Exactly how is she disturbing you? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Voleron, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. That's relentless. Once she gloms onto something, she doesn't let go. Best if you just tell her the story. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. Surely Sith don't need an excuse to war. On the contrary, the Emperor himself gave the order for peace. It takes much to challenge that. But I may have found an opportunity that will have the Council and the Emperor ready to act. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. Tell me you found this man, and that I get to kill him. General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. I will punish all who are aligned with him. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. Good work leading me to General Gon, Faust. Men, we've got trouble. R rally around the General! What's this, Faust? Have you double-crossed me? No, General. I'm not... I mean... Uh... up fast. The General's no dope. General, it's a lie. I swear to you. I believe you, Faust. Sith are notorious liars. Don't worry. Our bond is not broken. 
I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss' covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. We'll have to be more careful moving forward. Cease your operations, and I'll see to it you live. Keeping the fringe systems free of the Empire is more important than my life. Sith, you are Darth Barriss' apprentice? We... we know of you. This, uh, this isn't what it seems. I'll deal with you after, Chiz. Fear not, Faust. The Sith will not defeat me. My men and I have faced worse. Men, take this Sith down! Killed them all. Please, mercy. I... we will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. What did you help Gon with? I... I helped the Jedi land on Hoth, undetected. I believe he's searching for something in the Starship Graveyard wreckage, but that's all I know. Tell my master everything. He will have interest in this. R right away, my lord. Thank you for your mercy. Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeon. The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Give credit where credit is due. Who dares interrupt? Barris, who is this? This is my most accomplished apprentice, my lord, and the killer of Gon. Your destruction of General Gon earned you my favor, young one. Today, I will eclipse the feat tomorrow, my lord. I am impressed with your choice of apprentice, Beris. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Beris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjamin out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders. A preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. Who are these walking corpses? They are the Empire's most accomplished adversaries, and not to be taken lightly. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Apprentice, your targets are the Republic's six most important military leaders. There are two I must still locate. Admiral Monk, who commands the Republic fleet, and Jedi Knight Zerinder, who leads an elite squad of commandos. But the other targets, the four generals of the Republic's strategic command, are confirmed to be on the planet Terrace. You must speed there immediately. I will be there shortly, Master. I will give you the particulars of your mission when you arrive. Barris out. My Lord, I seek advice. As a military man, above all else, I value discipline, the chain of command, and uncompromising dedication to serving the Empire's interests. But there's a built-in dilemma. When my instincts tell me that a superior is jeopardizing the Empire, it makes my path less clear. That's the problem with the military. No matter what rank, no one should be above reproach. That has been a difficult lesson to learn. But it's tricky. The criteria to challenge a superior must never be softened. I stood by as Moff Broisk's random whims compromised countless missions. It is a mistake I refuse to repeat. Defying him ruined my career, but I should have done it sooner. No matter the consequences. You're seething with hatred for him. I can feel it. You like nothing better than to exact revenge. Revenge is a great motivator. Yet it often clouds judgment. 
I have no aspirations for personal glory, just glory for the Empire. And now for you. Your service to me should consume you. Every waking moment, my lord. I won't take up any more of your time. Master, your indulgence, please? We haven't spoken for some time. Are you upset with me? It hasn't been intentional. Good to know. The nobles on Alderaan treated me like I wasn't there. First because I was just a servant, then because they knew I could see through their pomp and distortions. I wanted to expose it all, bring their political nonsense to a halt. The system thrives, even relies, on manipulation and bluffing. I was an idealist. I thought if you nixed the lying and the cheating, so much more could get done. Deep down, I hated my life, but I swallowed those feelings. You've come a long way already. Now, you can let your feelings go. Yes. I'm finally living. All thanks to you. <laughs>